Hey everyone, it's Nico. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am finally getting back into my elemental fantasy like characters. It's been a long it's been a it's been a hot minute since we did that. It was a uh, I wanna say it was like late September since I did the first one, which was ice. And now we are on <laughs> we're already in November and today we are doing fire. Honestly, in hindsight, I probably should have done these in reverse because when I did the ice one, it was still like 80 degrees where I'm at. As of now, it's like, it's like getting down to like the 50s and 40s. So maybe I should have done them the other way around, but I digress. <laughs> We're doing fire now and um... Remember when I said that I wanted to uh, work on some drawing, like I need to practice more on certain things? And uh, I know I mentioned that it, drawing animals is one of those things, but another thing right about, like a little bit above that is uh, drawing guys. Um, I always have a hard time drawing guys. I don't know why it is. Um, that's the reason why I don't draw them a lot, but maybe that also doesn't really help me. So, <laughs> but it was a pain in the butt to draw this guy. I started drawing him and then erased him and then redraw him and erased him about five, maybe six times until I got to this one. So, so yeah, that was a, that was a wild ride that I don't really want to do again, but, uh, considering that I want to practice more, I feel like I'm going to have to, <laughs> but afterwards, after that, the inking and all the other stuff was actually really easy. It was really easy at that point. I'm just like, okay, I mean, I, I can deal with that. Inky, like the outline of the fire in his hands was super duper fun and outlining the fire on like the cape that he has on the side is super was super duper cool. I don't know why I like drawing the fire for some reason. It was just really fun to me. And uh, I gave some rocks in the background and and yeah. <laughs> it's like once you're inking, you're like, okay, this is what it looks like. And then once you start coloring it, you're like, okay, I changed my mind. This is what it's going to look like. And that's what happened here. It was like, oh, I have mountains, I have rocks. And then once I started coloring them, it started to change. It, like, you could really tell that it was taking form. So that was really fun. Um, I actually was... I actually wanted to color this in with my fine tip markers because I don't use them a lot. I think I've only used them once in a video, which I'll like leave a link somewhere in this thing. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I've done a couple like practice things with them, but I haven't done like a whole piece with them in a long, long time. So, I was like, oh, okay, I'll use these. And then, uh, and then I forgot, they don't blend out really well. And because they're fine tint, it's, it's like almost impossible to get an even color. So, I ended up going with my colored pencils, which I absolutely love my colored pencils. I don't mind using them. And honestly, I feel like, uh, they're, like, getting to the point where it's like, oh, they're like half the size that they used to be, but, but yeah, I was just like, what am I going to do with these markers? So, um, honestly guys, if you have any idea of what to do, please let me know because, uh, I really do want to use them and even if I don't show them like on any videos, it'll be a really cool thing for me to just figure out what on earth to do with them, how to use them, because I mainly use color pencils, like, 
with everything I draw except for like Inktober so so yeah I was just like I don't know what to do with these some of you guys may know what to do so I'm asking your advice here so please if you have any way for me to use these please tell me <laughs> um I have a few things like I want to ask you guys like all right this I feel like this drawing has a story and um, I didn't know like what story it is of course but I feel like this has a lot more this character has a lot more personality than my ice character which I mean I could say that my ice character had like a like a stone-faced fierceness to her I don't even know if fierceness is a word but uh, that's what I'm going with <laughs> But I feel like he has a lot more of a personality. I feel like he's kind of cocky <laughs> to some extent. And I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy or someone in between. So I'm going to leave a poll. Like, what do you guys think? Is he a good guy? Bad guy? Anti-hero? I don't know. I just, like I said on, a, on Tuesday, I only draw. I only draw the things and I'll let you guys figure it out. <laughs> And, um, the only other thing I, um, wanted to ask is, what other elemental characters do you want to see me draw? I've only done two, so, so yeah, if you guys have any ideas of what to draw next, any other elements, um, feel free to let me know, and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. So... So yeah, that's pretty much all I really wanted to say about the piece. I mean, I, I honestly, I really liked the piece. I thought it was super duper fun. And uh, I, I can't wait to do the next element. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for everyone that's been supporting me. And thank you for all the likes, comments, subscri <laughs> subscriptions, all that fun stuff. And um, also, don't forget to check out any previous videos. I'll have a playlist of my Inktober pieces, and I will also have a um, the link to that one video that I mentioned. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later. God bless, and goodbye.